At St Peter's Primary School in Victoria, a junior school teacher shares how she organises and connects the activities in her math session to meet the learning needs of her students. In 2RC I've got 26 children and I find that in my class I've got some low achievers, kids that are below standard and I've got a lot of kids that are above standard and a few that are significantly above standard. So I find that a lot of my lessons I need to have a variety of different foci within the same tasks. You are going to use the coins to see how many different ways you can make five dollars. Today in my maths block you're going to see a lesson that's focused on money and developing the concepts around money so that the children will be able to apply those skills involving money to other areas that involve addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Um, it will begin with a counting session that I will strongly link to the tools time where they'll be participating in a game sort of similar activity. Which will then go into my whole class teaching where I'll be modelling with the children having input um, into using money and counting money and adding money. I'll then draw the foci out of the kids rather than presenting to the kids what the foci will be for the lesson so that they're um, confident in articulating using math language exactly what the intended focus will be and then they'll be participating in a shopping activity where they're selecting items that they're purchasing at a supermarket and coming up with the price tags themselves so that the task is open for all of those abilities that I have in my class. You got to 90 cents and what do you need to make one dollar? An extra 10 cents, so you've got one dollar there. I feel that the lesson that we had today with the main idea of, of money and making collections was very successful. Do you remember we were looking at the, ca the catalogues last week when we were looking at weights as well and we looked at different price tags and sometimes we talked about them using money amounts that we might not be able to make without coins. I found planning to connect the counting and the tool time, the whole class and the independent activity around the same theme allowed the children to be able to see the connections between their counting patterns, which we were doing initially, to then applying it when they were making and counting their collections. Three dollars fifty! Is that the exact same way that Siobhan made three dollars fifty? No. no. Gee, we've got some clever children in here. Fantastic! So how do you ensure your lessons are coherent and well sequenced? And what can you do to improve the organisation of the content and structure of your lessons?